Oh, welcome back to Upper Michigan today, everybody. I hope you loved what you just heard from Beach Grove and Blacksmith in our last segment. I, for one, I'm going to be adding that to my Spotify so playlist good. when we come back. But, you know, now we're back with Kristen Ojanimi talking about Born in the Barn. You finally wrapped up this eight-part documentary. It's available to watch on YouTube, so people can check it out anytime. But, Kristen, what's next for you now that this project's over? Um, that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't we always have, ask yeah. each other that. What are you doing next? And we're like, I don't know. know. <laughs> I think I'm going to focus on discovering, you know, just for this year. Um, you know, so I did a full-time job and get some good stories out there and some good content. And, you know, if something happens to float my way, you know, a story or something, you know, maybe something in, in the outdoors world. I haven't done a documentary about the outdoors in a while. Um, I guess it's only been a few years, but I'm not sure. You know, I have a list. I honestly, I do have a list on my computer of ideas. Yeah. It's just a matter of some are good ideas, some aren't very good ideas. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I have a list of things that I'd like to do with you, so <laughs> oh, be prepared okay. for that. Right. Maybe you'll eventually have some time to do it now that yes. you're done with Born in the Barn. Or maybe we'll have a real winter. <laughs> maybe we will. We want to do some winter exploring because yes. we haven't uh, showcased that. So <laughs> last winter wasn't the year. That was a tough one. Was it tough for you as, you know, someone who goes out and showcases what people do to, to find things that were still happening? It was. I mean, I did get out on some ice a few times. Um, not going to lie, I was a little sketchy at times. Yeah. Um, maybe shouldn't have been out there. Yeah. <laughs> but well, here you are. So that's <laughs> yeah, great. That's still a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was difficult because, you know, your traditional things weren't there. They weren't happening. I don't even know if I put my snowshoes on, you wow. know, because there was no snow to go snowshoeing. So you're but. itching. Yeah, yeah. You like winter, <laughs> don't you? I do like winter. It gets a little long, you know, after yeah. a while. Um, but yeah, when it's, you know, it's beautiful out there, when there's a bunch of fresh snow, it's usually when I take the most photos, so yeah. the most inspiring, I guess, for me, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we always love to see what you're coming up with on Discovering and uh, whatever comes your way and whatever you dream up. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're always looking forward to it. Back to Born in the Barn before we completely uh, t switch topics again. But um, do you feel like, I feel like when you invest so much of yourself into a project like that, mm -hmm. it changes you. You come out a little bit different than you went in, mm -hmm. right? I mean, uh, you find lessons along the way. When you're talking about history and, and people's stories and accomplishments, I feel like um, it just takes you to another place. Did you have any moments like that where you were like, wow, I, I mean, this is sparking something new in me or this is making me see things in a little bit of a different way? Big question, I know, I'm sorry. You're good at the big questions. <laughs> She's like, stop it, Elizabeth. Ask me around the campfire, okay? <laughs> Not on the spot, yeah. on the lights. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, with every project I do, I think I become a little bit better of a storyteller um, yeah. and increases my own, you know, skills. And obviously this is a lot different than everything else that I've done different editing style and I like to try to to do new things yeah um, and to change it up and but you know I really enjoy local history and as we said this is just as much history as it is basketball mm -hmm. um, and I do like having that knowledge base of our local history I don't want to be the local historian <laughs> <laughs> people coming to me I mean, some people do but yeah <laughs> um, yeah but no I mean I always I love learning new things and having mm -hmm. that knowledge yeah well, I want to thank you for sharing that and doing all that work. I mean, that's just, it's an incredible accomplishment. And so kudos to you. Because, well, um, you. you know, doing what we do, it's, you don't see all the stuff that happens behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a lot. It and is. And on lot. top of already <laughs> what you do, which is a lot. So thanks for coming on the show. Thanks thank you. for sharing it. Uh, we're going to make sure to share uh, the web address uh, where you can find them all. But go to YouTube. Yep, just type search. in Born in the Barn and you'll find It'll it. It'll come up. It's real easy. She's got them all in a playlist that you can just play, but we'll put the link on our website. Right? Yeah, right, yep. Tech girl? Yep. <laughs> yeah, we'll put the link on our website. But we do have more music coming around. So stick with us.